Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. Today we're going to have a look at the exposure module and the histogram. Let's crack on. The exposure module have two modes, manual and automatic. Let's start with manual. The first checkbox is the compensate camera exposure. If you've used exposure compensation in your camera, you can use this checkbox to negate it. I.e. if I select this one here and I had a plus one exposure compensation on my camera, it will take it away. As you can see here, I didn't have any, so this will not have any effect. The second slider is the exposure slider. Sliding it to the right lightens the image. Sliding it to the left darkens the image. You can right click and type in the value you want or use all of the tricks that we discussed in a dark table um, uh, video. You can refer to that video if you need to know more about how to manipulate values. Double click here to reset it. While you might be able to recover some uh, some details from the dark areas by brightening the image, keep in mind that fully blown details as in, in an overexposed image will not be reconstructed. Darktable will not be able to recreate data that just isn't there. However, if only one of the RGB channels or at least not all of them are overblown, then uh, you could use the uh, highlight reconstruction module to try and reconstruct the blown area. The clipping threshold slider lets Darktable calculate the exposure for your image based on an area that you select in the image using this pipette. And the threshold is the percentage of bright pixels that will be taken out of the consideration from that area. You start the by clicking here. If I select this area, it changes not much. Let's select only this area. Well, this gives weird results. If we take only the middle, then dark table is now calculating the exposure and the black level correction based only on this area and only 0.01% of the bright values will be clipped out of this calculations. Now I can use this slider to affect the calculation. This is useful if you want to base all your exposure on a single subject in your image and if the image has a high dynamic range or if you have uh, a portrait and you just want to expose for the person or the subject of the image then you can use this uh, clipping threshold uh, slider. The black level correction slider allows you to adjust the contrast by selecting which gray values will be clipped into pure black in the image. As you can see, if I increase it, the contrast increases with it, and if I decrease it, then we've got less contrast in the image. However, be very careful, the gray pixels that are clipped using the black level correction slider will not be able to recover using other modules. They're taken out of the image information. For this reason, it is recommended that you use other modules to correct contrast. But we will discuss these modules in future videos. In automatic mode, Darktable calculates the exposure values for you based on a percentile and target level sliders. The percentile slider defines where in the histogram to measure. 
it's by default at 50%, which means that it's measuring in the median or in the middle of the histogram. And the target level is the target level that you want the median of the histogram to be. Here, the computed uh, exposure compensation is exactly what it says. This is what the exposure compensation that is computed based on these two values. If I change any of the values, you can see the exposure compensation changing with it. I could as well change the percentile and now we're actually working on the highlights. We're going to 87%. That means that it's somewhere along here. Of course, this is way too dark, but if I put the highlights at minus one, then I'll brighten the image accordingly. The black level correction works the same as in the uh, manual mode. If you were paying attention, you'd notice that the histogram is directly connected to the exposure module. Any changes I make here are directly reflected in the histogram. Pushing the exposure up pushes the histogram to the right and pushing it to the left pulls the histogram back to the left. You can do this the other way around and make the changes in the histogram and you can see them reflected in the exposure module. If I click on this part of the histogram and pull it to the right, you can see the black level correction changing to reflect that. And if I click on the right and pull the highlights, you can see that being reflected in the exposure. You can have multiple instances of the exposure module. Usually you would do that to apply it to different parts of the image using masks. The histogram is always linked to the last exposure module in the pixel pipe. That's it for the exposure module. How I usually use it is uh, to correct the basic exposure of an image. If it's really underexposed or a little bit overexposed, then I use the exposure module to correct that. I leave the fine tuning of the image and especially the contrast to other modules. I hope that you found this video both instructive and uh, entertaining. If you have any remarks, corrections or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.